Hello Primary 7. My name is Dr Flaherty and I am the Principal Teacher of Chemistry and Physics here in St Mungo's Academy. Chemistry and Physics are two of the main sciences you will have the opportunity to study here. The other is Biology. When you first come into first and second year, you will study all three of these sciences, but you will stay with the one science teacher and they will explore these three different areas with you. We will be very, very impressed when you come to St Mungo's if you know the difference between these three sciences. However, safety is the most important thing in any science classroom. Safety first. And to that end, before I can even think about looking at some of the amazing equipment behind me, I need to think, am I safe? I have really long hair, so right away that could be dipping in some acids, it could be going on fire if I put on the Bunsen burner. So anyone, girl or boy, who has hair below their shoulder length in science, it must be tied back for that reason. So sometimes having a little bobble on your wrist is really helpful, or if you are like me, and you really like your clips, then that's the first thing I'm going to do right now is tie back my super long hair. Now I have done that, the second thing I have to think about is my eyes. In a science classroom, most of the accidents and indeed the life-changing accidents that occur are due to something tragic happening to young people's eyes. To that end, every science classroom, this is a law, you must wear goggles. So, here they are, and I'm just going to pop my goggles on. So now that I'm nice and safe, I can start to think about doing some fun experiments. One of the very first things you will learn in science is how to set up a Bunsen burner. And I've got one behind me here. So a Bunsen burner looks like this. And underneath it, there is something very important called a heat mat or a safety mat. And it's a piece of ceramic tile that does not go on fire. So that's really, really important right away. I'm going to pop that down there. And I'm going to light the Bunsen burner. So you can do this in first year if you're super brave and you come up, we will teach you to do this. You may or may not be able to hear through the camera there the gas, but it's one of the things we listen for right away to make sure there's no gas leaks anywhere in the science classroom. Now, you may not be able to see that flame. That's called a roaring blue flame. And the cone of it here is the hottest part of the flame. We can alter the amount of oxygen, the amount of air coming through the Bunsen and that changes the type of flame. So I'll get one that you can see, get a nice yellow safety flame. So hopefully you can visualize that now in, in the, the video and you can see that that's a lovely yellow flame. I'm going to pop it back onto the blue flame, however, and I am going to show you some experiments. So here is our blue flame. One of the first things I'm going to do is use this. Now, this is called a spatula, but it's just a fancy scientific word for a type of spoon. So it's like a little spoon, baby spoon. And I'm going to use that to take out some iron filings. And I'm just going to sprinkle some iron filings over the top of my Vincent here. And I'm hoping you can see that really well on the video. Lots of gold sparkles are coming from the iron filings. Now, can you think of anywhere in the world, at any point in the year, where you would see something that goes in fire and sparkles? Hmm. You would be correct. Sparklers and fireworks. So chemists make sparklers and fireworks and one of the things they would use for a gold colouring would be iron and they would use something called magnesium if they wanted a nice silver for instance. But there's lots of other colours that we can explore through using a Bunsen burner. I have another couple of chemicals here. One of them is called copper sulphate and it's been put into a solution so it's not in its powdered form, it's not solid, it's in a solution. And I'm going to spray that at the flame and see if there's a colour change, if we can visualise a colour change. Oh yeah! I'm wondering if you guys can see, that almost looks like a witch's cauldron. I'm getting a lovely green coming through here and that is correct for copper. So copper gives us a lovely blue and green colour in science and we can see that here. 
If we try this one, barium chloride, we'll see if barium uh, gives us a change to the colour of our flame. Oh yes, the obvious orange for me was coming through there. Uh, this is the danger though with the, the sprays that you can obviously knock your Bunsen off and you have to be careful with that because you can't just have gas uh, not being combusted, which is a fancy word for burning. So we need to burn the gas in order to make it safe. I'm just going to turn that off. I hope Primary 7 that has given you a very brief introduction to science here at St Mungo's and we cannot wait to see you. We're so excited to welcome you in August.